Good evening guys, something different for you. Welcome to this evening's vlog, not today's morning, afternoon, etc. But this evening's vlog. Never done this before. I'm out with Adventures of Paul. I've been to this location before. We are going to Devil's Bridge down Spooky Lane. We are near, is it Frittenden? Something like that. It's near between Hemel, Burke, Hampstead sort of kind of area. It's pretty sketchy. We're in a, a wood that is getting deeper and denser as we speak the light is fading fast and we're going on a paranormal expedition it's going to be something different for sure anyway hope you can join us see you in a bit we appear to have found a little friend on our journey i believe that's a, a common toad let's let him be he's following us it's an idea of what we're going through. We can virtually no longer see anything. Daylight has certainly gone and we've still got to make our way about right ascent and then the descent to the Devil's Bridge. If I quickly flash a torch in front of us, that's what we got. But <laughs> it's quite an eerie place, that's for sure. Yeah. There's all sorts of weird and wonderful noises going on to us either side. Probably deers, possibly nocturnal animals like badgers, bats in the trees, owls, etc. Everything else I would have pretty much would have hampered itself down for the night. Anyway, we shall continue. The rain has started as well now, guys. Just to add to what we're going through to bring this to you tonight. I haven't got any fears as such. There's nothing out there that's truly gonna harm us. Unless you are seriously into your paranormal activity and believe that something's gonna follow us back and get us in the dead of the night. But, if that's the case, that would have happened to many other people in the past that have come down here. Uh, there you go, silhouette, there's Paul there. We've just walked past what is called the Orford Arms. Some very old houses around here, and we've been warned to stay off the moors. So. Actually, you know what, that's from a film. A film that freaks the heck out of me. But here we go. This is where we start the ascent. I've warned Paul how steep it is. By the time we're at the top here, we're gonna have to take a breather because it is a serious killer. Maybe that's why it's called the Devil's Bridge. Maybe because it will actually physically wear you out. If I shine a torch. Yeah, I told you, I told you it was steep. Huh? Yeah. It just goes on and on and on and on. So, catch you guys in a bit. Okay, the, the camera gives off more light than there actually is to the naked eye. It looks as if it may be, oh, I don't know, getting towards dusk, but it is literally pitch black for us for your physical eyes there's Paul there and um, we are just about after doing the ascent to get to the top of here we're gonna now take the descent and go down there Paul welcome to hell <laughs> this is as spooky and as sketchy as it gets. I'll just brighten it up a bit. You're seeing what I see. If I flick away the torch, that's what we see. It is pitch black. Now, many people have come to their own conclusions over the years of the purpose of this. I honestly don't know. Someone say about the Earl of Bridgewater, who's got a monument up on the Ashridge estate 
I know they mention about the the monk, the ghostly figure of the hooded monk that tries to find his way to a monastery, which is now the, I believe it's a college there. It was once a monastery, then it became a private house, and now it's um, just a student-based college. But I'll wait for Paul to catch up, because this is where it starts to get really sketchy. This is where it freaks you out. I've already got the hair standing up on the back of my neck, folks. This is where it closes in. There's bats swarming around us. I can feel them. You can just hear a pigeon back there. But this here, these are where the walls start and it, the creepers come out and it gets narrower and narrower as we make our way down and as it reaches a bend a little fork further down here the devil's bridge will come into sight I hope you're enjoying it the things we put ourselves through to bring you a video I said this is old stone and flint work so this is going back a couple of centuries you've got brickwork in there as well so that must be I don't know post 1800s now my first belief was these here were just to hide a bank I think maybe they just built it through and these walls here to stop it from collapsing in on itself this is all we got as i said we drop the temperature has dropped dramatically as we get further and further down we're looking at a temperature drop of at least 10 degrees the reason for that being is because as you notice as we're going through there how steep these banks are now you get a breeze because it's open either end that breeze will build up it's just a gentle breeze, but it's enough to drop the temperature. And as you're getting around this corner, you start to see the vine creepers, the trees overhanging. And as we come around the corner here, that should be Devil's Bridge coming around down here somewhere. Not quite there yet. Oh, that is the bridge. <laughs> just shows you how bad my eyesight's getting, that we are actually at the bridge right there in front of us pan it out a little bit that is your devil's bridge and I say it's very very yeah, sketchy the roots everything overhanging the locals try and turn around and say that the place doesn't exist pretty much because they don't want the the youngsters down here causing problems Vine creepers and holly all creeping its way through. So we will also, while we're here, get up there on top. As I know the route, I found it during the daytime. They get up there. Now this is our first destination of a double vlog evening. So what do you reckon of this guys it's purpose not many people really know I have my own theories on it I'll explain to I've explained that actually in a previous vlog there's usually writing on the walls I see you I did actually write my name on the wall last time I was here, but it was in chalk, so whether it's still here or not, because that's the thing, leave your mark in chalk, it's not causing any harm. Right, right we're going to go back to the bridge in a while. First of all, we're going to make our way up this bankment here into the wooded area, and this leads you to the top. So you're actually looking over the top of the bridge. So we'll make our way up and I'll get back to you when we reach it. We're actually at the top area of the bridge now. 
running parallel. It's just sort of tight, twisty path, making our way through. It's quite surprising what's out there to find, guys. So my old theory about this place is, there's a route there, mate, is that this way down here used to be the main road. Now, this goes back into the time of horse and cart, obviously. So, with that being the case, you can imagine winters in the UK, how bad they could pretty much be. And so they decided to move the main road further down, leaving this abandoned. The actual spooky lane, which is down to our right, is believed was a way of keeping the um, the local gentry, noblemen, and just your average commoner out of the sight of the Lord and his lady, because, I don't know, it's got that very much Beauty and the Beast vibes of wanting to keep her out of sight for those romantic amongst us. What I have noticed in the past, these structures here would have been stone plinths which would have sat here and here. If I look, if you look out there, take away the light, you can see a car traveling. Yeah. Me and Paul traveled down that road and then we come to a junction and hooked a left. But where the car is gonna to come to the junction, which is quite handy now, cause you'll be able to see for yourself, yeah. this is where the old road used to go. Yeah. Straight through where the car is, straight up here, through this gate area, and it would continue through here. This is the top of the Devil's Bridge, as I show you over the top here. We've got to go back up that way. We're right on top of the bridge now. And uh, yeah, the route would follow through and instead of being the road to the town to the right of us, it would have followed this tree line over here. And that tree line continues and banks round to your right, further beyond where the thicket area is there in the distance. And that is Ash Ridge over to your left. The main road would have followed through there. But this has probably been abandoned as a road for near on two, three centuries. So of course this become obsolete. And so this is all we're left with. It's kind of ruined. And we're of course left with what we know a spooky lane, which is all this, which we've traveled down, banks around there, follows all the way along here and we are right on top pretty cool this here again what would have been some of your ornate pillars now at the top the top of spooky lane as I've gone through during the daylight and I've entered just past where one of the entrances to one of the manor houses is there's a couple of concrete statues of what looked like great danes so predominantly back in the period of time people would have had the rampant lion or a dragon or dogs were common folk for people who were in the hunting etc but this just gives off them cool creepy vibes if i get to the side here you should be able to see the drop here we go. That's what we're running parallel with. As I've said before, and last time I was talking about it, I was here 
during the daylight so if you want to check out that vlog because you get a better view this is pretty much for the more of the paranormal freakiness of it we're talking a time period which would have had your highwaymen and women so this is an absolutely ideal place for them to hang out possibly back in the day a horse and cart comes through there they jump on top of it money all your life the rest is history and that's your highwayman for you and the notorious ones in this area apart from the wicked late lady which was i think it was catherine eddowes and there was a guy called snook i think his name was robert snook it was either robert i think his name was known as robert snook but he was went by the name of james for some reason and he was the last highwayman to be hung in england and that is adjacent to the a41 which I've also vlogged about that. So, if you're wondering why I keep flicking the torch away, it's just so I can give Paul an idea of where he's looking. So, we don't end up arse over tit, <laughs> rolling down a steep embankment in the pitch black, trying to call for help. Right. I think as it's getting a bit sketchy we will see you at the bottom as we make our way back to the Devil's Bridge yeah yep yeah. Paul's just said am I gonna do a, a spirit box down here I think for those of you who are into your paranormal certainly worth doing it for you folks I personally don't get a lot out of it um, I don't I think it happened so quickly that I don't pick up the voices where if some of you guys obviously you've got the the time to sit there at home and digest what's actually going on but I shall do it anyway just for the sake of it as we're here but the old creepers at the side here gives it proper freaky vibes Right, we'll get here and I'll get set up. Don't even see this guys, I'll focus in. It's a cave spider. Not very big, they grow to five times the size of that. But we'll leave him be. I was gonna put up the, the flasher up there but I'll move it to somewhere else. Okay, I'm gonna do a spirit box. So, inhabitants of the Devil's Bridge those lost souls maybe of the church and the graveyard behind us those who can't find their way even to my sister who passed in january make yourself known Is there anybody present within the vicinity apart from myself and Paul? Does evil reside within these walls, this bridge, or this general vicinity? Are we welcome here? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, 
And for the last time, has anyone passed over out here looking, searching, trying to find anyone or a lost soul trying to find a way home? anything up. Okay spirits, we shall let you rest. We mean you no harm and let us go about our business. We will say goodbye to you. Do not follow us home. a little bit now mm. right guys well that was the devil's bridge it is pitch black you cannot see a thing if i move away the torch thump, i disappear <laughs> so i'm just using that as reflection off the wall so you might be able to perhaps grab our attention so to speak and um, there was a geocache down there that was dumped on the floor been opened i've put it back together and put it back where i originally found it in the daylight um, as for the spirit box, I didn't get anything out of that. You guys might have done. I think it's open to interpretation, anything like that, because basically what you're going to find is that people hear what they want to hear. So with that, guys, that's this destination done. End of this vlog. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope it's brought you some sort of spookiness, a paranormal adventure not many people got the balls to go and do this that's for sure um i'll see you in the movies bye for now